Every Thursday, Letting Library has a dog come in from 3.30 to 5 for uh, kids to read to them. The dogs aren't judgmental. The dogs don't care if you say a word wrong. And so kids seem to do really well reading to the dogs. Go on and run. You haven't got a chance. These dogs are labs or golden retrievers in our program. They are the friendliest dogs. I mean, they look friendly. They're wagging their bodies, their tails and they're approachable. So we're really the purpose really is for kids to have a non-judgmental way to practice their reading, but we found that lots of kids also just want a little time with a dog, or maybe kids have a fear of dogs, and it's a great chance to just hang out with a friendly dog. There are kids who weren't excited about reading, and suddenly just the chance to be with a dog makes them much more excited about it. Kids who also have been struggling as readers, who suddenly find a friendly animal to read to. And I've heard from parents as well that it really just has made a world of difference for their kids who don't want to read at home, think of, think of it as homework, and then all of a sudden they have a reason to sit down with a book and an animal. Look at that, Clifford is going to go all the way to school to find out where he lives. It was pretty nice. Um, I love Zink and I would like to read to him like every day, but I can't, I can't. It's really cute to watch them because many of them get on the floor and they're petting the dog while they're reading. Some of them actually are showing Zink pictures and Zink's very laid back. Zink? If you want a treat, shake. Yeah, good boy. I mean, there's just nothing more rewarding than seeing a program that you manage and what it does for people. I mean, it's just, it, it, it's so heartwarming. The teams that we have are so amazing. They give their time, they drive long distances, they have to bathe their dogs um, before they go. They love going. They get as much out of it as the people that they visit. Dogman by George and Harold and Harold Hutchins. I mean, by George and Harold. One time George and Harold met in kindergarten. Nice to meet you, me too. They, they became best friends and they started making comics.